Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. The God of mercy. The God who saves. I shall not fear. I shall not fear. The dark of night. The dark of night. No, the He will release me from the nets of sinful ones. He will protect me from their wicked hands. Beneath the shadow of His wings I will rejoice to find a dwelling place secure. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear, I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. A warm welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist. We pray for all the intentions on this channel. Today, in a very special way, we pray for all the housewives, asking the Lord to continue to bless them in their responsibilities. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters. sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyrs St. Andrew Dunglac and his companions faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood, grant through their intercession that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be your children both in name and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thursday, 24th November. First reading. A reading from the book of Apocalypse, chapter 18, verses 1 to 2, 21 to 23, chapter 19, Verses 1, to 3, and 9. Babylon the Great has fallen. I, John, saw an angel come down from heaven with great authority given to him. The earth was lit up with his glory. At the top of his voice he shouted, Babylon has fallen. 
Babylon the Great has fallen and has become the haunt of devils and a lodging for every foul spirit and dirty, loathsome bird. Then a powerful angel picked up a boulder like a great millstone and as he hurled it into the sea, he said, That is how the great city of Babylon is going to be hurled down, never to be seen again. Never again in you, Babylon, will be heard the song of harpies and minstrels, the music of flute and trumpet. Never again will craftsmen of every skill be found, or the sound of the mill be heard. Never again will shine the light of the lamp. Never again will be heard the voices of bridegroom and bride. Your traders were the princes of the earth. All the nations were under your spell. After this, I seemed to hear the great sound of a huge crowd in heaven singing, Alleluia! Victory and glory and power to our God. He judges fairly, he punishes justly, and he has condemned the famous prostitute who corrupted the earth with her fornication. He has avenged his servants that she killed. They sang again, Alleluia. The smoke of her will go up forever and ever. The angel said, Write this, Happy are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. And he added, All the things you have written are true, messages from God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Happy are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Happy are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Response Happy are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Know that He, the Lord, is good. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Response Happy are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Go within His gates, giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. Response Happy are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Response Happy are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia! Alleluia! Stay awake and stand ready, because you do not know the hour when the Son of Man is coming. Alleluia! The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 21, verses 20 to 28. Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, you must realize that she will soon be laid desolate. Then those in Judah must escape to the mountains, those inside the city must leave it, and those in the country districts must not take refuge in it. For this is the time of vengeance when all that scriptures say must be fulfilled. Alas for those with church. Alas, for those with child, or with babies at the breast, when those days come. For great misery will descend on the land, 
and wrath on this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be led captive to every pagan country. And Jerusalem will be trampled down by pagans until the edge of the pagans is completely over. There will be signs in the sun and moon and stars. On earth, nation, nations in agony, bewildered by the clamor of the ocean and its waves, men dying of fear as they await what menace the world for the powers of heaven will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand erect, hold your heads high, because your liberation is near at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 21, verse 20 to 28, we heard, Jesus is speaking to his disciples, making them aware of the disasters that will take place. If Jesus had to speak to us today, he would have spoken to us of the atomic bombs, nuclear and ecological disasters, terrorist attacks, and so on and so forth. But at the same time, he will tell us, don't lose heart. For God still loves and directs his creation. God still loves and cares for his people. And he will bring good out of everything that happens in the world and that is our redemption. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be with Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane when he faced with similar situations, those moments that are when he was facing this disaster he found strength and great courage because he felt he was with his father. The time that he had spent with the father strengthened and encouraged him to face that hour of temptation, the hour of pain, the hour of persecution. Jesus, in a similar way, wants each one of us in our times of disasters, in our times of failures, when things come all of a sudden on us, not to lose our faith, but call, up, but call upon Him, hold on to Him and to those experiences where the Lord will strengthen us. In such times of difficulties and problems, we need to call upon the Lord. We need to go to Him. Now let us recall all those moments, those painful moments, those disasters that has shattered us, our families, our individual life. Let us surrender it to the Lord. As the Lord Himself in this situation surrender Himself to the Father. And the Father strengthened Him, gave Him the courage to walk through this problems. In a similar way, Lord, my dear brothers and sisters, let us recall to our mind the times of pain and disasters and let us place it at the feet of the Lord. The Lord will help us to walk over it with courage and new hope as we, as he waits, as we prepare ourselves for his coming. Let us pray for this courage and hope that we may always have in the Lord. Amen. Are you tired of chasing? 
pretty rainbows Are you tired of spinning round and round Wrap up all your troubled dreams in your life And at the feet of Jesus lay them Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may often for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Derek our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy will, will be done, done on, earth on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us give this day our daily bread, bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in our and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God, Bless you, the Father, 
the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. and mother of holiness be the light of the world with the glory the glory of Jesus conceived by the Spirit